Renin soldiers. Me, yeah. Um, I've got to keep going. I have to survive place. this no matter what. So. What's yeah. this thing? No. They want no trying to take. I just did. Be mayor, I merit Daymore. I hereby detain you in the name of His Excellency Lord Balsam. Damn it! Throw down I was your so weapon. close. Slido, what's up? What the? You've got some kind of death wish? 
Those are armored soldiers, you're- Shut up and get out of here while you still can! Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Nah, well. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, yeah, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. Fine, suit yourself. Help me, help you. Word to the wise, I call my own shot. Just stay out of my way and we'll get along quite well. Yeah. Kind of new for me if you hadn't noticed. Don't expect any promises. Here I go. Why did you help me? Because you're weak. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some... What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. I don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like... Wait, you really can't feel pain? Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face, no memories. I only know one thing about myself, and that's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? Stay sharp. We're going in. Glad to see you made it. How? I heard you managed to escape. But I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Ah. Come on. Ah. Stay where you are, dissidents. Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? <laughs> Apprehend the traitor! Slaughter the rest! <laughs> 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 Possible. 
the Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Master! You okay? Your arms! <clears throat> oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? I'm not. Hold still! Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. Yeah. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. Yeah. Oh, well. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? No. Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place. Or would want to. The Blazing Sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my Master Core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? Amazing. No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died.
Glanamede Castle. Stronghold of Lord Balsef. Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. Next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. What's this? Why is that? Everything is on fire, man. Why? Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If uh, we try to take them all on, there'll be no one. I don't fight you. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Right. Let me know if you need okay. healing. I'm on it. It's over. Sit, fall back. I'll bring you back. Touch Touch and it. Circle and bring them down. Hey. I'll run you through. There. Not done it's yet. Strike. Strike. Swallow blade. You're not giving up now, are you? No, I refuse to let it end like this. That's what I want to hear. Raise your sword. I need to be stronger. Hello. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. Okay. Oh, really worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Boss. What's that?
Done. Normally, we should take turns standing guard. But this first time, I'll watch you. All right. A master core, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, no. when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? No. Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? I don't know. Listen, what the Renan... ...are really after isn't resources or minerals. What? It's astral energy. Man. What is that? They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. Oh, lum, lum. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps' astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Oh, okay, you do it. I don't want to Never do thought it. I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? What is the name Balsef? I've got to 
sorry. Why? We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. What a weird stone. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. Ah, uh, dang all. Why you run that now? You believe me still again. You can run. I mean, you can run. It's automatic. We should be able to eat this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. It's edible, huh? Good to know. Definitely. My god. What's this thing? I'm the king of the world. Wait. Come on, come on, come on. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. All right. I go to fight it then. We've almost made it to Ulzebek. Oh. I'll take you all off. Strike! You're mine. You're surrounded. This is it. Dig deep. He's your second gun. No excuse. Tough to lose. We got to roll with it. I'm sure I can put this to use. Can you even see out of that thing? Like, at all? Yeah. Of course I can. How else do you think I managed to avoid tripping everywhere I go? What is that thing anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. And I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danans don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. 
A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, it'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the Lords. But I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. Me too. I am going. Cut it out. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Oh, dude. That's so even hard to understand. I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenegas. Trust me, wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenegas? You mean the same Lenegas that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well, then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. I don't pick on the weak. Take him! Strike! Here's a healing arc! It's over! Run you through! Don't go charging off like that! Take this! Strike! Run you through! Here I come! Heal the blade! It's over! First aid! The targeting shield! Run the red! Strike! Swallow blade! I'll run you through! Here, it's over! Take this! Ha! Can't move! Just Hold back! Fine. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What's this thing?
Okay, people, this is it. Ulz are back. No sign of any Renan guardsmen. The Renans aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. Okay, I will see you guys on the next episode of Days of Rise.